Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday, July 3rd, 2024, about 11.20 a.m. here, California time. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 1.4 earthquake into the uh, California region. Did see a 5.3 here across the plate boundary south into the Gulf of California. So got to watch the west coast here today for some potential further movement. Uh, taking a live look here at the Thompson Fire around the Oroville region. This is a view from Rattlesnake Peak. Does show some active fire conditions here. In fact, if we put this uh, over the last six hours or so, actually, I want to show you guys the nighttime hours. So we'll go back last 12 hours where we're seeing uh, quite the active fire conditions prevailing out there around Oroville. They are getting a, uh, a little bit of a jump on it uh, in terms of far as the intensity of the fire goes. As you can see there on the hills, still quite uh, quite active. That was overnight. Again, live look here at the Oroville area. Shows uh, obviously some spotty regions here of active fires. Uh, the latest information here, let's bring back the uh, Thompson Fire updated map. Make sure that's correct, 3,002 acres. So it's remained at that level all night so they haven't really updated anything i'm sure there's more acreage burned out here but they keep it for some reason they're keeping it at 3,000 acres zero percent containment as of right now uh, active hot spots are going to be here in these little orange circles they're kind of uh, satellite based hot spots right now the main area looks like it is north here of the original fire location oroville dam sits uh, right here the Kelly Ridge area here, um, I'm, there's still a little area here that I'm watching of some satellite-based heat spots. Here's the perimeter of the fire. It does look like it's ventured up here. Uh, this is um, put out by the uh, the fire personnel and watch duty here. So it uh, looks like the fire has burned up into a portion here of the Kelly Ridge, but it hasn't hit the uh, main area. Hopefully it doesn't. Uh, but uh, we do have a north wind kicking up here tonight or today. That's going to be um, a little bit challenging there for the firefighters to continue to fight this uh, this fire. Again, this is in Oroville, Northern California, Oroville Dam. Uh, evacuation order is still in effect here. Level 3 in the red uh, all over the place here around Oregon City. A good portion here south uh, east Oroville area. And in the yellow is going to be the evacuation warnings, uh, you know, getting getting ready just in case things advance further. But uh, still the Kelly Ridge up here, obviously underneath that evacuation order. And uh, hopefully, hopefully these guys can get a handle on it. All right, let's look at earthquake activity here. Uh, did have that five pointer in the Gulf of California, as I mentioned here, 5.3 coming in about four o'clock this morning. And uh, normally when we see uptake here across the plate boundary south, we'll see an elevated uh, event take place here in Southern California hours uh, later. Uh, it does look like we got a little bit of movement stirring up here in the Southern California area right now, 2.0, and some smaller quakes. But I would definitely keep an eye here on the Southern California region uh, following that movement down south here. Uh, we'll see if it up to, uh, gets to a point of being... Uh, uh, an uptick in earthquake activity or not. Uh, further up north, got uh, some smaller activity around the San Andreas Fault and the Bay Area. Northern California, not a whole lot showing up here. The Cascadia Subduction Zone, pretty quiet for now. Handful of smaller quakes up there around Mount St. Helens once again. And uh, let's see, a little spike of an earthquake, or a little earthquake here coming in in the last hour at Yellowstone. I want to double check, see what's going on there for Yellowstone real quick. Uh, it doesn't look like much. It looks like um, kind of hard to see where that even that current earthquake activity is coming in, but that's a very small one, 0.1. It uh, doesn't look like anything of any notable activity taking place there across Yellowstone. It's just a couple of smaller quakes, very small. Uh, Texas, Oklahoma area, typical regions getting hit out there in the oil fields. Uh, way up north here in the New Brunswick area, did see a 3.0 about 6 o'clock this morning. Kind of rare, don't see too much earthquake activity out here, but uh, occasionally it comes about. Not a big earthquake, 3-pointer. Uh, the big island of Hawaii here. 
Uh, got uh, a little bit of earthquake activity overnight. I was just looking at my phone here. I had an earthquake come in into the app in Chile, five pointer down there. Uh, but far as Hawaii goes, got uh, you know some some earthquake activity kicking up here. Not a whole lot. Uh, more on a broader scale. Uh, the thing that really concerns me, though, is what these guys did to the charts in terms of the monitoring data. I'll go over here and show you guys. If you didn't get a chance to watch it last night, I'll kind of go over it again. In this update, the uh, deformation data is what measures the, the, uh, the ground movement in terms of inflation. And uh, it looks like yesterday something happened here, some type of manual adjustment that is pretty obvious here on the data uh, was done to this uh, monitoring data uh, because that does not look natural at all in terms of what we've seen here of the raw data. Looks like some adjustment and then it's just steady. I don't. I don't see that happening. I, you know, there hasn't been a time here where the inflation just stays steady like that. So, not for sure what's going on. Have to watch that. Uh, hopefully, they adjust it back, or maybe they're just working on it. I don't know. But either way, the deformation data there is uh, looks like it's tampered with. Uh, potentially, this one here as well. So we'll check back on that throughout the day. See if anything uh, kicks up. As uh, far as um anything at the surface levels here the webcams from the usgs here let's go over here and check out the summit area real quick looks like they're a little slow here today but they're working nothing of unusual activity here's the sun lens uh, the fl the lens flare that's happening from the sun it's almost directly looking at the sun so here's the position of the sun's going to be up here on the image get uh, the lens flare and the colors this is not magma but uh some lens flare going on. Um, but aside from that, this looks just like it has for quite a while. No unusual activity. The East Rift Zone out here, the same as well. Looks like a beautiful day out there. Getting ready to have a beautiful day. 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning there. Hawaii time. No visual eruption going on there across the rift zones for now but uh, as always you know you got to keep an eye on that because we're at a pretty well inflated event level right now a little bit further activity there in uh, California it looks like and that five pointer in Chile that just came in on my phone looks like uh, uh, in the clustering of that mix right there, 5.5 in the red flag, 105 kilometers deep for that quake. Uh, nothing of abnormal activity there for now. New Zealand area, got a 3.0 coming in right now, it looks like, as well, into this area. North Island getting a pretty good cluster of earthquake activity here. A little bit deep and uh, some shallow adjustment going on. Threes appear to be the magic number. Got some deeper, activi uh, deeper activity triggering here into the Kerbedeck Trench. Once again, and the Tonga area. Typical clustering going on here across the Indonesia Islands area. Uh, but aside from that, uh, no major big earthquake activity. Largest magnitude out here is going to be the uh, 5.3 in the Gulf of California here, which is, you know, quite common. We see a couple of those a month out here in this area. All right, let's check out uh, the hurricane here, Hurricane Barrel, which is, um, man, it's getting super close here to the Jamaica area. Let's see what we got here for key messages. Uh, looks like 145 mile per hour sustained winds. I'm going to go over here to this other site and check out the storms here. Um, yeah, it looks like it's actually hitting Jamaica right now on the northern end. Here's the eye. You can kind of see the uh, area of circulation. that has weakened quite drastically, uh, but still quite strong. It said, a, what, what was it, 145 mile per hour winds, which is still a very strong hurricane, but it does look like it's going through some type of eye redevelopment. But the center here of that hurricane is south of Jamaica. Um, so hopefully the brunt of those winds and whatnot will stay offshore. 
either way, that uh, is definitely kicking up uh, right now in that region. It is supposed to uh, weaken here. Hurricane warnings up in place here in the red across Jamaica and uh, other regions out here. Out here around the Mexico region as well. A little uncertainty on to how strong it will be once it hits the Mexico area. Then there's a little bit of even more uncertainty between a tropical storm and a hurricane status here once it gets into the open waters of the Gulf of Mexico once again. Um, so let's check out the... Go over here to a different region. I'm going to check out the Western Atlantic right here. It gives us a good view. Upper, di uh, lower level dynamics. Wind will show us where the hurricane is, which is right here over Jamaica right now. And as we put that into motion, it does get a little choppy there once it goes over the uh, Mexico area. Weakens quite drastically uh, before coming into the uh, Corpus Christi area, it looks like, in southern, extreme southern Texas here. But doesn't look like it's going to uh, strengthen much, but still could create some storm surge and whatnot. We'll have to watch that as we get a little bit closer. But right now, it is over the uh, Jamaica area. And, uh, you know, got some some decent winds out there and some storm, uh, storm surge to deal with, I'm sure, in that region. Go over here to the uh, windy map see what's going on now on the satellite based view it showed a little bit lower here so this is still running off the forecasted model the actual satellite based uh, imagery showed it more um, a little bit more south here 1132 put this into motion You can see the eye wall right about here, barely, but the area of circulation, I should say. Uh, either way, <clears throat> I got some wind and stuff like that to deal with right now. Um, here in Northern California, uh, a fire concern here. We do have, um, it's blown pretty good here as far as the wind goes in the uh, Sacramento Valley right now. Uh, Oroville looks like they're getting in on some of that as well, so that's probably not going to help the fire. If anything, it's going to fuel it up. Throughout the afternoon, it does look like things will die down slightly overnight as well. Um, and it's hard to say, but, uh, you know, it looks like we do have some type of wind switch going on here for tomorrow sometime out of the south. But uh, either way, we'll keep an eye on that fire. Uh, Watch Duty is the app to check out in terms of uh, fires out here across the west coast. And uh, let's see what else we got. Anything major going on? There's that five-pointer in Chile showing up there on the seismograph station. A little earthquake on the hot caves, Hawaii. We'll continue to watch this, folks, and report back on all the activity uh, unless something major changes throughout the day. But uh, we'll see you guys a little bit later on this evening. Take care and stay safe out there. Have a, a wonderful Wednesday.